Okay, let's tell the truth, y'all. We know about everybody getting caught in this case. Everybody from the woman, Chantel Trone. You know what I mean? Her being, you know, because everybody forgot a woman was arrested and caught in this as well. She was caught, you know, and arrested with the teen. We don't know if this is the teen's mother or sister. She has the same last name. And I just did a video about it. But we're not just on the woman. We're on Chantel. We're on the 17 year old son. We're on Dirty Freddie Lee. Y'all all know who Dirty Freddie Lee is. He, he's the guy right here, Dirty Freddie Lee Trone. We don't know the age, so I don't know if he's the woman's husband or dad. But I, I want y'all to stop saying the bloggers are the ones who told. Stop saying bloggers gave information. Them folks had videos in 4K and everything. I warned y'all this was going to happen when Chief Michael Moore. You feel me? When Chief Michael Moore did that conference and he was smiling, talking about we got the 4K cameras, we just need to be able to identify them. That's how I knew they got vehicle numbers. They knew where different locations these dudes was at. Like, how don't you guys know that? You got to read these papers, bro. You got to look at it for what it is. Now, me personally, besides knowing that the cops already knew this information, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. I need y'all to do one thing for me. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, make sure you share this video. Our news videos been more breaking than anybody else. I'm not hating on nobody. I've noticed that and I appreciate you guys. You guys are the ones who made these videos hot. Y'all the ones who made these videos go globally and a lot of journalists hit me behind the scenes. You feel me? Because we, we do it the right way and I don't snitch on nobody i just give you the news if you come here for the news you will get the news now i'm out here to let you know that the 17 year old son and the woman flipped on old boy freddie lee dirty freddie lee already got told on that's all you need to know now this is how they break it down police have identified a suspect in the shooting death of rapper i mean of rapper pnb rock at roscoe's chicken and waffles and they say he may be armed and dangerous i call him armed and dirty i don't know about the dangerous part but arm and dirty freddy dirty freddy is that he is arm and dirty but they're saying that after they entered the restaurant and they approached the rappers that's when they got them but they said police already was hipped on it because they tracked a lot of their sources and i remember i broke to you there was paid informants involved in this case as well informants been given the drops on these suspects so whoever dirty freddy was cool with they told on you most likely the niggas you cool with they've been getting w-2s from lapd and who don't know that the lapd got nothing but informants working with them why do you think so many dirty crimes are done and these niggas don't really get a lot of years they might get one year or they might not even get no uh prison sentence at all because they got deals going on you come work for us and give us all the other dirty freddies and you'll get this w2 right here you'll get this nice little payment of action lesser sentences and shit like that who don't know about paid informants now let's continue they're claiming after the cameras i remember i did a video telling y'all about the mcdonald's across the street this ain't no detective work or nothing this is good california folks speaking to me and folks letting me know about the ins and out most likely this way they were you know looking at the whole establishment and looking at pnb rock where his car was parked he's taking pictures outside and all people across from that mcdonald already seen this going on so whoever was in the mix outside the lapd already looked into that they already got their informations on that so when you're reading these articles about chantrell trone and like no disrespect this is what they said about her the first person arrested who is a minor under the age of 18 was detained in Los uh Londales or Lonsdale y'all tell me if I'm saying it incorrectly Tuesday morning you feel me the second person was identified as 32 year old Chantel Trone who was arrested in Gardena and booked on suspicions of being accessory to murder that tells me they caught the 17 year old separate right and when they caught him he, he, he got the singing I don't know if this lady is his sister or mother, but he definitely dimed her out. He probably did her by accident and said she was driving him X, Y, and Z. But the dad, the dad definitely got told on by the son. This, this ain't even no guessing game. He done flipped on y'all and he was easier to break than all of y'all. He's younger. 
he ain't thinking he on dirty nigga activity like the daddy so his mind is to get this money and get this paper and not think of the consequences most likely when you thirsty for it you was not on your p's and q's doing it the right way you was just in and out thinking it was gonna be quick and go you wasn't thinking about a hundred cameras a hundred rat informants who work for los angeles police department and we gotta look at the cooks in the kitchens as well i'm gonna do a separate video about that because at the end of the day even if dirty freddy is dirty or not who gave them the drop y'all could play it off like a drop wasn't given a drop was given now y'all keep telling me how innocent the girlfriend is i never said the girlfriend pulled the trigger or did anything or even gave a drop i said her actions played a part so she could be innocent 100 percent. that still don't delete her actions of doing locations and all that and where y'all at that is faulty that is dangerous you're uh, a dangerous game you're playing by taking pictures of where you're eating at and the police themselves said sh she played a role in it as far as her location dropping ig pictures and all that it played a part like why, why would the police know this if they didn't talk to snitches and informants already and pmb rock played a role in his own death too i agree with y'all by not being well i don't want to say not being a man but not letting his woman know no we ain't going here because he talked to academics already and said she acts funny in situations like that so why would you take in would not take more precautions and be more smart to tell her no nah, we're not eating here you feel me and he also took pictures according to the security guard who also suspect in my eyes why wouldn't you you feel me um um believe the security when he said he seen pnb rock outside back taking pictures of him in the car and all that that part i do believe these folks today love ig they love taking pictures but what you forget is dirty niggas like you feel me dirty freddy he's gonna be outside looking for every opportunity to get folks out the way dirty freddy life is to do this only dirty freddy life is to tap you out but dirty freddy's need to also remember quit blaming the bloggers bro you dudes don't done snitch snitched on each other for everything y'all can't do a lick and remain silent y'all can't even do licks the right way you do it you spin it you're so ready to get what you're getting you don't think about the obstacles like snitches in your way cameras in your way 4k cameras los angeles police department also los angeles pol the police department informants everything like that you niggas ain't thinking strategic you just see shiny objects and you think like monkey see monkey do and that activity gets twisted and tampered with and now you have a bojangle situation a, a, a coulda chuck chuck woulda chuck move and now everybody else getting blamed for your dirty activities now nah, blame yourself because i don't know what what way you raised your son to be a dirty dude as well but your son couldn't do it the right way he dropped the bag he told on all of y'all it's not a guessing game like read the paperwork again the first person arrested was the dirty son of dirty freddy did y'all read that and he was arrested on tuesday morning now after that the second person who was arrested and identified was the 30, 32 year old Chantel Trone, who was arrested in Gardena and also was booked on suspicions of an accessory to murder. That lets you know this this either was a dirty ratchet or it was a female just being loyal and they got her as guilty because we all got family members who wouldn't call the police on us I'm, i'll be honest we all got family members who ain't gonna turn us in now my family would turn me in if i do some weird things like some geppetto activities with young you know folks out here yeah nobody families will hold you for that but when it's like dirty crimes like dirty freddy your family will love you enough to where they don't ask you feel me and then the fact that the woman was booked on suspicions of being an accessory that let me know the 17 year old was talking a lot in there maybe he snitched on her by accident but he definitely was name dropping man y'all tell me what it was was it the police doing good police work was it the informants or do y'all think it was the bloggers because i didn't even know about this dirty nigga dirty freddy until i woke up this morning let's keep it real none of us did none of us knew about this dirty nigga being in the mix of this so it feels like it's his son y'all tell me in the comment sections if y'all think his son is the one who told on everything you feel me and who told on the son y'all think a drop was given i'm about to do a separate video about that drop about cooks in the kitchen the securities and all that about drops of dirty freddy but i need y'all to hit that like button hit that notification bell thank you for rocking out with i smoke hip-hop live love your family love your kids and stay blessed i truly mean that salute